in this video, I'm going to go over the full list of fixes for you. The update was released on the 26th of April, 2023. To check that your game is updated, you want to look at the version number found right down here at the very bottom in this tiny little print. So for PC, the version number is 1.97.62.1020. For Mac, it's 1.97.62.1220. If you're on console, you're wanting version number 1.75. Here's what SimGuru Ninja said in the patch note. Little Soul Simmers. This patch re-enables the loose tooth feature from the Sims 4 Growing Together expansion pack, which with much wiggling, pulling, and twisting, those several pesky tooth issues have been yanked right out. Our Sims mouths have healed wonderfully, and the over 9 million recently created infants will once again have these next stages of life to look forward to. We appreciate your patience throughout this dental visit and wish you many simoleons under your pillow in the morning. First of all, pay attention to the 9 million recently created infants. Y'all Sims have been busy. 9 million infants have been created. Seriously, wow. So here are the bug fixes for base game, an issue that was causing subtle adjustments to the appearance of Sims in the April 18th update has been resolved. You may have noticed this issue affecting the appearance of things such as Sims eyes, teeth, and facial structure. Any Sim that was created prior to the April 18th update should return to looking as they did before. Any Sim that was created between the release of the April 18th update and this update will have minor adjustments to their appearance as a result of them now being correctly rendered. The chance for a child sim to experience losing a tooth has been re-enabled, if you have growing together. A child sim's skin material will no longer become corrupted after the loose tooth buff expires if the child was already missing two front teeth. A teen sim's skin material will no longer become corrupted after the loose tooth buff expires. Uh, you get to decide how to, how to corrupt your sims, not loose teeth. Really, really good to see that they've fixed these two recent bugs that have been plaguing since the 18th update and longer, especially the loose tooth. Really glad to see that our sim children can now lose their teeth once again and get money from the tooth fairy. I'm just disappointed that they didn't actually add a tooth fairy into the game, but maybe one day they will.